Uh, many chemical reactions, they start reacting and then at the same time products are coming back to reactant. Those are known as reversible reactions or equilibrium. So the reactant is reacting, so R for reactant, and the arrow is yielding to give you products. But at the same time the product is decomposing or breaking apart to come back into reactant. So once you see this double arrow, that's indication of equilibrium. Now there are few attributes or property that you need to respect. One is the um, R equilibrium is always taking place in a closed system. So if you have a flask that the reactants are there, make sure the flask is sealed. So there is no matter being lost or gained as well as energy. We try to keep it as insulated as possible. Uh, the second attribute which is very important is that the concentration of reactants and products remain constant. So let's just uh, have this graph. You should be able to produce a graph or inspect the graph. So I have concentration which is for us mole per decimeter cube versus time. At the beginning there is no uh, product but there is reactant. Let's say we start here. This is my reactant. And it starts being consumed as time is elapsing. And let's say I go to, to 5 minutes and then I come to steadiness, meaning the concentration of this reactant is not changing anymore. That's the time I can say if there is equilibrium, the equilibrium has been reached. So reactants are being consumed. At time 5, I see steadiness. Now products are also coming to life as reactants were co being consumed and they are converting back into reactants. But at time five minutes again I will see that steadiness so this is my product now this this moment of five that is steadiness is when we can say equilibrium has come to life now the last criteria or attribute or property is that the rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of reverse reaction at equilibrium now remember the rate in kinetics was a change in concentration of reactant with respect to time or over unit time so it was delta uh, bracket for concentration of reactants being consumed versus time now at equilibrium this is equal to concentration of products over time i'm going to put subscript of eq to say that so if this is the rate of reaction uh, the rate of forward reaction is is extremely fast at the beginning you have lots of reactants it's being consumed and then you come to five minutes time and equilibrium comes to life there is a steadiness for rate as well and then for products, you had nothing at the beginning. They start reacting as they are being formed to come back to reactant. And at the same time of five minutes, they reach steadiness. The two rates are equal. So this is rate of forward. And the other one is rate of reverse reaction. reverse reaction and they come together so then again the time which is five minutes is indication that I have reached equilibrium so the system is closed it's a dynamic process macroscopic properties are not changing but the reaction is constantly taking place concentrations what once you reach equilibrium of reactant and products are constant not necessarily equal to each other and rate of forward reaction however is equal to rate of reverse reaction that is equilibrium